Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and blessings that you've been sending me. Knowing that we all can resonate through our trials and tribulations and knowing we deserve better and it's all, always on its way. So with that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a, a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or even if it's about your, you know, um empathic gift <laughs> and how it's sending you in a positive direction almost got forgot what i was about to say also if you feel like you've been getting the videos giving you good vibes or even good information that you would love to share with the loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are truly going through some dark times and need confirmation and validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose or their empath purpose please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for stopping by and giving me so much love and support towards my channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, I'm listening to this music. It's so beautiful, too. It has so many beautiful, uh, like, pictures in it. It's relaxing. It's called Meditation Chill Out Music, Positive Vibe, Happy Day Music, Healing Miracle Tones, and Stress Relief. We all need that. It just seemed like everybody catching it. It's like when I'm going on social media, there's just so many people talking about the stuff they're going through. And I'm like, I'm so glad I'm not dealing with this on my own. I thought I was, you know, it makes you feel like you're going through a midlife crisis. Because see, it's like, I can't believe I'm about to be 42 by next Sunday. And I'm just like, dang, I don't even look like I'm 42. And that's a blessing to me. But I thought I was going through a midlife crisis for real. But anyways, um, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Change the way you look at things, and the things you look at will change. That's what it is. You know, because it's just like we go through so, so, so much. And a lot of times we feel like, you know, universe is punishing us. God is punishing us. Um, you know, we pray so much for the things to change in our life. And, you know, it's just the fact is we only, show, only have to pray for it once. And when you pray for it once and you know you're doing it from the goodness of your heart, you know it's not, you know, getting back at anybody or trying to wish something on somebody. You know, universe hears that. But it's just like when you're going through trials and tribulations, struggles, setbacks, mistakes, mishaps, you have to watch how you look at things. Because a lot of times it benefits you in the long run when you can see that that door might have not been missed, you know, meant, meant for you. You know, you're trying to open a door that's clearly not, you know, opening. So you have to keep going until you get to another door that God is trying to, God, universe, creator, source is trying to send towards your way. Because it's just like when you're working on you to better yourself in so many different uh, levels, so many different ways you're evolving. With you being an empath, there are so many different things that you need to work on in yourself. And it's just like right now, like I said, Mother Earth is nesting right now. So she's making all things come up. Your fears, your insecurities, uh, your trauma that you have been going, currently going through and have went through through all the past lives. So you're catching it left and right, left and right. And there's times I had to look, you know, when I'm up by myself, I can get that peace of mind. You know, yesterday I said, no, you know what, let me go ahead and work on me yesterday. Doing things, other things that I really enjoy. I really enjoy doing my videos, but it's just like I have to be able to take that break from there. Because it's like even when I'm doing the videos before y'all see it, I feel your energy before you even come watch it. So it's very strong. And there's a lot of times I have to really cut myself off from certain situations so I can be able to really look at what I'm doing. Look at the things that I'm pushing towards. Looking at the things I'm dabbling in. You know, and it's just like there's sometimes. I remember when I first started this journey and I used to cry, especially when I found out the things that I found out. And I mean, there's times people see me in my video saying I really you know, felt that God was not listening to me. God ignored me. That's the most hurtful thing to find out a truth about your biological family that you, you know, you actually knew them and didn't, 
you know, get a chance to, you know, even engage in that. And that's a heartfelt feeling. But it was just like when I seen all the videos I was putting out, seeing all the things, my F ups, like I call it, you know, of the things that I was finding out about myself more and more and more. You know, I just felt, why am I doing these videos? What am I doing? What is this doing for me? What is this benefiting for me? And then when I start seeing the fruit of my labor, seeing how many people were subscribing, seeing how many people felt that support you know, coming into their life, putting understanding in other people's lives to know that they are no longer alone or they've never been alone. Let me put it that way. They've never been alone. It's just having you look at things in a totally different perspective. And I had to do that for myself as well. Because while I'm healing myself, I'm doing it as I go. And I'm letting y'all know, nobody's perfect. You know, we, we're all healing every day. We learn new things about ourselves and our surroundings every day. We have to be able to change and look at things in all a different direction. Like I have to tell myself, just look at this, but look at it without emotion, being angry, being mad, being pissed, being misunderstood. When I seen all the things I was going through and being able to grasp that concept and saying you're evolving in such a positive way. You're so busy looking at the, the, the pessimistic or the bad things. You're not even paying attention to the blessings that you're getting along the way. Of you making these videos and it's just like when I had to step back and really see what I was doing I got it I got I understood y'all might have been going through hell and high water through all that time hurt trying to you know everything is not as as it seems you know you have to sometimes go through things to get to it you know and you because there are so many people I've seen that you know make especially making motivational videos and stuff like that what I do and they say, you know, I really had to go, I had to go deep. I had to go do any and everything to get to where I had to get. And yeah, everything was cut off, but it benefited me in the long run because it, it showed people that you're not the only one struggling. But if you really, you know, even though you're struggling, you still have to be able to, to make, you know, make yourself keep going. You can't give up on the situations that you want badly in your life. You're going to be taking L's. You're going to be taking mistakes. You're going to have setbacks. You're going to have failures. But you learn everything along that way. It's just like when I was always telling things before it came to happen, I was messing myself up because there was always somebody out there praying to make sure I didn't get that. You know, so now it's just like, I don't even tell nobody what I'm, you know, you can't tell the left hand what the right hand is doing. You can't always, you know, let people know where your steps are because sometimes that even it can be, somebody praying against you or it's just the energy that's coming towards you you weren't supposed to have that come out because even though people might mean well they might be like gosh you know i wish i had something like that and they might bounce off of the blessings you get me or you could be hanging around the wrong people they're keeping stuff going so it's just like you know you you're going through this journey and there's so many people that has left you there's so many people you have parted with you know there's family members that you were supposed to let go of and it, you know you've been knowing people for like 20 30 years and then now all of a sudden they're total strangers to you i get that i understand that i've been through that before you know having to cut people out you know really like keeping to myself healing in ways you can't sometimes you got to be alone in that solitude to be able to come up with the things that you want in life work on you being able to better yourself in so many different levels and it's just like you want to elevate you want to ascend you there's things that you're going to have to cut out what if you want these things that bad there's some sacrifices you're going to have to make there's some people you're going to have to let go of there's some things you're going to have to distance yourself from you know yes as empaths our problem is we we try to see the good in everything trying to say oh well this person will change will allow me to do this and let them be able to see that yeah but there's sometimes you can give a message and they're not ready to receive it yet so you have you can only do so much but if you know it's like hitting a brick wall you need to just keep it going and let, allow them to go ahead and make their mistakes so they can be able to learn too so everybody is learning as they go you know you, there's nothing you know we're never too old to learn something new and it's just like with us exploring our spirituality being able to know ourselves from different depths you know in different volumes you know when you're when you can look at things and see that things are changing you can actually see that they're changing for your benefit yeah you might be upset you might be mad and you know confused and not understanding where this road is going to take you sometimes you're not supposed to see where that road is taking you you just have to go by your instincts and go by you know what the creator is telling you hey we need you to go down this street but then we're going to make have you go a go right you can't question why they're having you going right because you're going straight they might you might be finding some you know some mess and 
going down that way. So they're going to have you turn a certain way. You have to be able to just do it without any questions. You know, there are so many times I would get visions of certain people that were not supposed to be in my life for any, you know, longer than they were supposed to. It's just like when I see their face and they say, cut them off. I see their face and their scissors. No problem. I ain't about to ask no questions. If I'm already getting a little feeling about you anyway, and I'm like, uh huh, I don't think I'm gonna be dealing with them for too much longer because it's just we 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 bumping heads. You know, I had to let go. And then it's just like when now when I can sit up here and see myself, and it's not because God has blessed me with materialistic things. It's not even about that. It's when I can see the fruit of my labor and seeing how many people I'm helping. Being able to put that concept of understanding and peace in your heart to let you know you're not alone. You know, you you're you know, you might be going through some really tough times right now, but you're not the only one who's going through it. But while these tough times is 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 teaching you so many different things that's gonna elevate you, that's gonna promote you into that better life that you really want to have in your life. So you're gonna have to be able to look at those changes and notice that the thing the situation is gonna change you. There's a I just made a video about that the other day. You think sometimes and that's what I thought when I'm in my you know, my karmic cycle. You know, the this generational situation. You know, I thought God was allowing, leaving me here in this certain situation for me to change my situation. No, my situation for me being stuck, there was no longer supposed to be dealing with anything. It was supposed to be changing me. Being able to say I'm able to heal from this. I can no longer, you know, sit up here and be looking and allowing people to do things to me. Not being able to accept what things are going on or, you know be hurt or allow these people to affect my emotions allow people to affect my decisions i'm going to make no when i'm healing from different things and allowing myself to be able to know what i'm gonna do me i'm gonna send blessings towards your way but i'm gonna get mine as well you know so there's times we're put in stressful situations to try to understand where these things are going to take us or what do you need to fix in this problem when basically the situation you're in right now is supposed to be able to change you on so many different levels give you strength give you knowledge give you respect self-love self-worthiness knowing that even though you might be going through hell and high water right now you might you know gut feeling that blessings is coming your way you know, you have to be able to believe that whatever's coming your way, you're worthy of it. So you keep doing what you need to do and keep praying. Pause for the cause, y'all. I apologize. Sorry about that. Everybody's calling and checking to see if my daughter went to prom yet. So it's a little bit chaotic today. But yeah, there are certain times we go through situations and it's supposed to change us for the better. You know, a lot of times we get in some hella situations and you're just like, oh God, I don't want to deal with this no more. You know, I'm stressed out. Why do I got to keep seeing the things that I see? Because there's a lot of things that I'm facing right now I definitely don't want to see. You know, it's just like, okay, they're doing this. I'm doing me. You know, I, I don't wish anything bad on them, but I'm tired of seeing the things that's going on with them. I'm ready to part ways and go and do my business. <laughs> allow them to do whatever they want to do and allow me to be blessed in my happiness and go about my business. But when I allow myself to know that what you nobody can't do anything you don't allow them to do to you. So it's just like when I'm seeing the stuff I see, I have, I have to not let that bother me. That's when the strength comes in. And when you're waiting for things to come into fusion for you, that's dealing with belief and faith. So all these different things are occurring in your life that God only, only three things God is asking you to do. Heal, believe, and trust that everything is going to benefit you in the long run, which it really is. So you have to really, your changes you are going through, allow that to change you, but allow yourself to look at it in a different way so this can change you and you can move on. But I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do, knowing that, you know, you're truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and know that there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Tanya Thomas, much oh Tanya Thomas, uh, Sarah Warsome, and uh, Top V Trending. Much love to you as well, and I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wise.